Healthcare today is driven by technology. In fact, so much so that some people are worrying about losing the human touch in medicine. But tonight, there's a local company that's using that very technology to try to change that. As our own John Sear reports tonight, it wants to give patients better access to their doctors and even help doctors focus less on the paperwork and more on the people in their care. Well. Yeah. This scene is repeated more than 922 million times in the U.S. each year. And for each doctor-patient appointment, there's a record. The problem is, because of uh, the medical legal arena, it's gotten a little bit out of hand. For other doctors, for lawyers, for a patient file, all of it entered into an electronic health record, or EHR. The important part of an, a, a good EHR would be, how do you take all this data and distill it down into useful information that helps you care for the patient? Dr. Chuck Dietzen is one of the founders of Indiana-based Isalis Healthcare a company with a program to organize that information for medical professionals and their patients. It has software that coordinates appointments, record keeping and billing, and includes an app that can put patients in front of their doctors from anywhere in the world that has internet access. So this is just a quick trip to the app store, and then what do I, what do I look for at the app store? Yes sir, so you're going to type in anywhere care, all one word. It's a quick download that gives patients a secure FaceTime link to their doctor. Chris, you're there. Psychiatrist Chris okay? Bojrab uses it in his practice daily. There we go. Now, if I was an actual patient of Dr. Bojrab's, we could have an appointment through this Isalis app. I see him on my phone. He sees me on his laptop computer. And in addition, he has all my medical records that were generated in the state of Indiana. He has GPS location on me, and he knows where the pharmacies are nearby in case he wants to prescribe me some kind of medication. But since I don't have a medical issue right now, what we're going to do is I'm going to use this opportunity to ask him a couple of questions about his practice. So, Chris, first of all, um, let me ask you about the importance for the patients in using this app. How do they benefit? You know, I think it really opens up an entirely new way for patients to have an appointment with their provider. Uh, it also opens up the opportunity for us to work with patients for whom it might otherwise be very difficult or nearly impossible to get to the office. He doesn't have to take a medical history, even for a new patient, because Isalis puts all of that right in front of him. So I'm really working uh, off the very same uh, electronic medical record system, the same access to information that I would have, whether the patient is three feet from me or 3,000 miles from me. While he has traveled the world to treat patients with the Timmy Global Health Organization, co-founder Chuck Dietzen says he knew that Indiana was the best place to develop this technology. We felt that we had the developers, we had the kind of minds that we needed to make this happen. Just like you were sitting here in the office. And that starts with a simple Hoosier mindset. While technology is part of medical care today, it should be organized in a way that helps and not hinders patient care. And John also tells us that despite the deep Indiana roots, medical practices in all 50 states are currently using the Isalis program.